everybody. I did an unboxing um, a few days ago of my Asus uh, Wi-Fi extender. So it's the RP-AX58. Uh, now it's time to add this uh, to my Asus router. I've got an RT-AX88U. I'm going to add this as a um, wireless mesh node. So first thing to do before I plug this in is uh, head over to the router's web page and get ready to set up. Once you're logged in uh, to your Asus router, uh, on the left hand side, you want to select the AI mesh menu option. And then you can see there any existing nodes that you've got. I haven't got any, this is going to be my first edition. So you can see at the top here, you need to add mesh node. Uh, but before you do that, you need to uh, plug in and power up uh, the uh, RP-AX88U Wi-Fi extender. So we'll do that first. Okay, so all you need to do is take the Wi-Fi extender. Mine is a UK plug socket. Find yourself a plug socket and just plug it in and then hit the power button. I'm assuming, yep, so you can see if I just focus in this bit bright, there's a light that flashes to show that's powered on. So let's head back to the router now and add that as a node. Okay, so back on the router's uh, web page. So all I need to do now is click on Add AI Mesh Node. So that's going to search for a nearby node. This might take a few seconds. There it is, it's found it. So we just click onto that. Do you want to add it to your system? So just press connect. Okay, so that was successfully added. Um, so all we need to do now is click on finished. So now when you go back to the AMI, AMI mesh menu, you can see now you've got two. So I've got my main router and then connected to that, I've got an RP AX58. There's nobody connected to it at the moment. So um, the next thing to do is to uh, look at the various settings. So the first thing to do is just check the signal. So this connection quality is great. And then you can decide where you want to put that in terms of a room uh, in the home. So my RT-AX88U is in my office. And for my node, I'm going to want to put that in the back garden because this is uh, where I want uh, to be able to roam into the garden. So I'm just going to choose yard. And then you've got a few other things you can look at. So if you look at the management connection, you can choose um, backhaul connection priority. Currently it is with Wi-Fi. So you can choose do 5G first and then one gigabit uh, when if you've got an Ethernet cable to do that. Or you can leave it on auto and then it will connect that automatically. So apart from just assigning um, the node to a room to make management easier, there's a few other things you can do as well. So on the network tab, uh, you can see where you're currently connected. So I'm using 5G as the backhaul. But if you click on the management tab, you can define what happens in terms of backhaul. So here it's selected to auto. Um, mine's currently on 5G. If you have an Ethernet connection, you can use up to one gig um, Ethernet backhaul as well. Uh, there's a few other things you can do as well. Uh, you can enable various radios. So I've got my 2.4 and 5 gig on. I don't see why you wouldn't have those on. Uh, you can, once you've all set up, you can do a quick optimize. You can reboot the node and you can remove the node. Um, so you can also, if you want to, at the top here, uh, under system settings, you can put this in permanent backhaul so that it wouldn't look uh, for um, a 5G or a 2.4G um, backhaul. It would always do it by Ethernet. So that's only good if you've got that permanently on. Uh, and then you can see if I just uh, click on here so we can see the network type. Uh, that I'm connected to. So if you looked earlier under my management, I've got 
uh, auto backhaul. So if I plug um, uh, an ethernet cable in now, that should, after a few seconds, click over to ethernet. So let's give that a quick test. So as you can see, I've got an ethernet port uh, next to the position for my uh, Asus extender. So you can see it's changed from five gigahertz uh, backhaul to one gigabit per second ethernet. So um, I should get top speed. So that's it. It's added as a node, a fairly simple process. I'll, uh, I'll do some speed tests in another video and, uh, and see how it compares um, from connected to a mesh node or connected directly to the router. I hope that helps. If it does, please consider uh, subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everybody.